hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel once again christian edgar back with yet another exciting video in today's video we are going to look at the roofing phase for this house we are going to see how much it costed us to roof a five bedroom mansion uh, earlier on we have been looking at the series of how we have been constructing this house its shell right from the foundation to the roofing phase but now we are going to look at the costing what it costed us to roof this phase uh, this house that is behind me this is a five bedroom mansion and um, we use roofing tiles to roof it but there are scenarios there are those who may use uh, iron sheets but roofing tiles and iron sheets of course roofing tiles are more expensive compared to iron sheets but um they are all good to use and then also when it comes to rafter framing you can use steel to do your rafter framing for trusses and you can also use timber for rafter framing but uh, for us in this in the, on this particular mansion we use timber for rafter framing the fact that this this building doesn't have a large area yes timber would work best but uh, steel is usually used for rafter framing in scenarios where a building has a large area yeah such buildings such as supermarkets uh, warehouses churches yeah it's best that you use steel for rafter framing um so um so in today's video we are going to see uh, the quantities of the materials that we use to roof this five bedroom mansion using roofing tiles and uh, how much it costed us to roof this particular house uh, thank you very much for watching so i'd like you to stay tuned to the end so um this is our five bedroom mansion roof and here on this particular house we used a pitched roof you can see but uh, there are also those who use flat roofs of course uh, flat roofs are cost friendly compared to pitch roofs because the amount of uh, material in terms of uh, timber and iron sheets or roofing tiles that you use on a flat roof is not as much as the one that you use on a pitched roof yes so it's cost friendly when it comes to labor and materials yes but uh, just that people have fears of flat roofs leaking Yes, the leakages that are faced in flat roofs, yes, they do leak. Flat roofs do leak, I agree. But of course, there are those people who have roofed their houses with flat roofs and they are not facing issues of leakages. So that drew my concern to find out how do those people do it and how have they done it best and they are able to solve these leakage problems of flat roofs because, <laughs> trust me, no one would love to see the leakages in the ceiling that are caused by flat roofs yes so um first and foremost uh, if you're deciding to use a flat roof um remember those flat roofs usually have parapet walls now those parapet walls are the ones that run along the whole roof yes along the whole roof if you're deciding to use flat roofs now before you do the parapet wall block work you first roof your house if you're deciding to use a flat roof you first roof your house then you can now start on the parapet wall block work because uh, as you're roofing your house there's usually that overlap yes of the iron sheets the iron sheets if you're using iron sheets that is anchored into the wall slightly not wholly but slightly it's anchored into the wall then you do the block work for the parapet wall then also there is a coping that you're supposed to do along along the iron sheets and the wall and the wall you're supposed to do that coping along that motor coping yes you build it so well along that wall yes so with that you'll have some of those leakage problems then also the second thing is uh while the masons are doing the block work the perpetual block work it's always best that they don't step on top of the iron sheets more so if you've used iron sheets for roofing your house using a flat roof yes it's best that those boys don't step on top of those iron sheets of course there are those safe areas where they are running common rafters those areas where they can step and walk on that roof but it's always best that they avoid stepping on top of the roof if they are doing the perpetual block work Yes, they should avoid stepping on it because by mistake they can step in areas where they are not running common rafters and then they'll cause damage to the roof. So for them they'll do their perpetual block work, finish it and then leave for you a leaking 
damaged flat roof so it's best that they have they be supervised so that they don't step on top of the roof yes they should be doing the block work and the, the parapet wall block work and the parapet wall finishing while stepping on the scaffolds yes um so and uh, the third thing is uh the gutter now the gutter the gutter is also important because the gutter is the one that collects all the water all the water from the roof is collected by the gutter so i advise that you should have your gutter not with the minimum sizes of uh, 200 millimeters deep by 300 millimeters wide depending on how much water that the gutter is going to be collecting because the amount of water that the gutter is collecting will all depend on the area that the sheets or the roofing tiles are covering on your house so that will determine how much water that the gutter is going to be collecting but at least have your gutter have your gutter at a minimum a depth of 200 millimeters by 300 millimeters wide yes with that you'll have solve of this water issues of having your flat roof leak into the ceiling so um with that with that hope uh you'll have solve of these leakage problems of uh your flat roof leaking so the, you need to put in mind the parapet wall construction uh has to be supervised well the boy should not step on the iron sheets if you, you use iron sheets to roof your roof um they should not step on it yes while doing the parapet wall block work then also they have to first do the roofing before they start on the parapet wall block work so, oh by the way i advise that you use concrete gutters because concrete gutters you can easily customize them yes on site you can customize them and have the sizes that you want yes so concrete gutters would work best more so on buildings that where the roof where the roof is covering a very wide area yes it's best that you have concrete gutters yes so those concrete gutters will receive the water and then direct the water to the down pipes the size of the down pipes also matters but uh, the size of the down pipes usually depends on the quantity of water that the roof is collecting and directing to the gutter so if your flat roof covers a large area then that implies that you need to make provision of a, a down pipe with a wider outlet so that that much water that is collected by the gutter easily flows so with that you'll have solved these leakage problems in your flat roof so um today uh let's head into what we are going to look at the materials that we used to have this roof made the way it is this is a pitched roof of the five bedroom mansion with a maid room so uh what are the materials that we use while roofing this particular house um let's go through them quickly um so here are the materials that we use to have this five bedroom mansion roof roofed this fish roof uh we bought common rafters common rafters are the ones that uh make the pitch of the roof they run from the tie beam while making the pitch of the roof and uh, we bought 166 pieces each piece is at 5000 shillings and that costed us 830000 shillings then palins palins we bought 166 pieces these ones are the ones that lie on top of the uh, common rafters uh, we bought 166 pieces each piece is at 4000 shillings and that costed us 664000 shillings then tie beams tie beams we bought 202 pieces these are the ones that run horizontally from wall plate to wall plate actually they are their largest timber sizes in roofing yes we bought uh, 202 pieces each piece is at 7000 shillings and that was just uh 1.4 million 14,000 shillings ridges ridges we used clay ridges because we are roofing this house with our uh, roofing tiles and uh we bought 360 pieces each piece is at 3,500 shillings and that costed us 1.2 million 60,000 shillings um a wall plate wall plate those are the four by threes now these are the ones that run on top of the whole wall after the the over beam walling is done they are the ones that run on top of the whole wall and they are usually given support by that two iron so that's why it's important that you don't 
forget to incorporate two iron in your ring beam before you cast it. Yes, that two iron is the one that holds this whole wall plate timber that runs on top of the wall. This wall plate is the one that holds the whole roof. So the wall plate is the one that supports the whole entire roof. The whole entire roof sits on the wall plate. That's why it's always best that it's given support by this hoop iron that runs from the that is anchored into the the ring beam yes it's usually anchored into the ring beam and then goes around this wall plate so it is important that you have that hoop iron because this wall plate is the one that supports the whole entire roof in case of any strong wounds you won't have your 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 roof blown off uh, more so more so for pitch roofs so we bought 106 116 pieces each piece is at 7000 shillings and that costed us 812000 shillings buttons buttons um are the ones that receive the roofing tiles they are usually on top of the they are usually on top of the plain sheets after doing the plain sheets they are the buttons that come next then we have our roofing tiles on top so we bought 246 pieces each piece is at 3000 shillings and that costed us 738000 shillings uh, plain sheets plain sheets we bought 15 rolls and uh, each roll is at 90,000 shillings and that costed us 1,347,500 shillings then we also bought roofing roofing tiles roofing tiles we bought 9986 pieces yes because of course there are those damaged ones that get broken broken yeah they are all included in this and then each piece is at 3300 shillings and that costed us 32 million nine hundred fifty three thousand eight hundred shillings uh, fisher boards fisher boards we bought 19 pieces and each piece is at 120,000 shillings by the way these are P these are pvc fisher boards that we used here and each piece is uh, is is 5.8 meters long yes so we bought 19 pieces and each piece is at 120,000 shillings and that costed us 2,280,000 shillings then gutters gutters we bought 34 pieces each piece is at uh, 52,000 shillings and that costed us 1,768,000 shillings then uh, nails of 4 inch 3 inch 5 inch those ones we did combine kilos and we bought 170 kgs each kg is at 5,000 shillings and that costed us 850,000 shillings then uh, there are those common rafters that we use for the ceiling for by two timbers we bought 221 pieces each piece is at 5000 shillings and that costed us 1 million 105000 shillings yes expanded lathing metal is the one that sits below right below these four by two timber common rafters of the ceiling yes we bought 17 bundles and each bundle is at 48000 shillings and that costed us 816000 shillings cement cement for motor casting of the ceiling we bought 55 bags each bag is at 33000 shillings and that costed us um 1.8 million 28200 shillings then we also bought uh alexan for motor uh, for, for the motor for for the ceiling casting uh and also plaster sand uh, now the grand total for the materials for roofing this mansion uh, costed us 49 million six hundred six thousand three hundred shillings roof thank you very much for watching if you're new to the channel please don't forget to hit the subscription button if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for always watching i remain christian edgar god bless you bye